Once again, rinkside at the RMU Island Sports Center. This is Matt Geica after the Colonials pick up their first Atlantic hockey victory, three to nothing over visiting RIT. An impressive win to be sure for RMU. Coming off a winless weekend against Army last weekend right here at the island. The Colonials didn't score in the first period, but got the first 10 shots of the game. And in fact, didn't allow a shot on goal for RIT until 15 minutes into this thing. Francis Marat was in net for all that. He was pretty impressed with how the team came out in front of him. I mean, we played a full 60. It's easy as that. I think uh, we came out to play. We came out hard and what we didn't practice this week showed up in, in the game today and that's what we wanted. Uh, everyone was going hard today and the freshmen were huge too. So uh, everyone contributed tonight. It was a full 60. Apologies to Jeff Lawson, who scored his first NCAA goal, and Daniel Mantenuto, who got on the board for the first time as part of a three-goal second period. Maybe the biggest story of the night was the return of senior defenseman Eric Israel. Israel, who missed the first four games of the year with a shoulder injury, made a difference right from the start, keeping the play going into the attacking end of the ice and also running the power play to great effect. His one-timer made it two to nothing midway through the second. Israel discussed how he tried to stay in the game while on the sideline, talking to RMU's youngsters about what it takes to win at this level. Uh, I just try to watch and helped out and, you know, give them little tips here and there, like, you know, do this, do that. You know, it's something I saw from upstairs, but, you know, just uh, the toughest part was probably in practice, just being in a yellow jersey, not being able to, you know, take contact or give out contact and, and just be a little physical and practice and show and really show them how it's done. But uh, this week, finally got out of that. And, and school has been harping on us all all week about competing and battling. And the guys showed that all week. And, and that's what we showed for the 60 minutes tonight. Okay, about those freshmen, three of them, Jeff Lawson, Nick Lalonde, and Kip Hoffman, all got their first NCAA points tonight. I don't think RMU is expecting much in terms of goal scoring from Lawson. No offense to him, but he's more of a shutdown type of guy, type of a prospect uh, when he was brought in for this 2018-19 season. But seeing that goal go in as Lawson pursued his own rebound and tapped it home, that lit up the Colonials bench, said head coach Derek Schooley. Well, it's always a jolt when you get a one nothing lead, but you get a bigger jolt when it's somebody that, that uh, scores his first college goal and somebody that is only playing his third game. And Jeff worked so hard, and it was good for him to, to be able to get that goal, and it ended up being the game-winning goal. So I think that gave us a little life. And then obviously the Israel goal was uh, was another one. And then Manny uh, Mantenuto has uh, uh, has had a couple opportunities to produce and hasn't, and it was good big for him to get one. And he just went uh, basically went about 170 feet without being <laughs> touched, and it went down and scored. So yeah. hats off to the guys. We got some production from guys that uh, are we're getting their first. Schooley added later that he doesn't want his team to get fat and happy, quote-unquote, as they did against Bowling Green following their first win of the season two weeks ago. On the bright side for RMU, they won't have 24 hours to wait like they did against Bowling Green. They'll be right back at it here tomorrow. So a Saturday face-off against RIT as RMU, now with their first AHA win, can go for the sweep against the visiting Tigers. Once more, with my rink report, this is Matt Geica from the RMU Island Sports Center saying goodnight.